All right, so we've opened GarageBand. We have deleted the, uh, for me, Mail Basic Track. Uh, we have created a, a just basic track here to put uh, my intro and outro music on and any sound effects I want to use. Now I'm actually going to go in and record some narration. So um, I have positioned my playhead here at the end of my intro music. It's important to know where your playhead is uh, so that you don't record right over other things. Uh, you could record over your or at the same time as your intro music here if you wanted to, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and record at the end of it. So I'm going to place my playhead there. I am also going to go to track and show track info and that will give me the information about the track that I'm currently working with. So I'm on my basic track right now. I'm going to make sure that I'm on my female basic track to record my audio at this point. And then I'll go ahead and record some narration. So to do that, pretty simple, just like the 1980s tape recorders here, we're just going to push the red record button. When you're done, hit your space bar. That'll stop both the recording and the playback at the same time. Also reminiscent of the 80s tape recorder. All right, so we're going to click that red button, and then I'm going to re start recording some audio. I like to give myself just a little second there at the beginning so that my mic doesn't cut off or anything, and I'll do the same here at the end, then hit the space bar. All right, so you can see with the fluctuations in the wavelengths there that it was recording the narration. Um, we'll go ahead and play back here a little bit of the music and then into my audio. And then I'm going to re start recording some audio. I like to give myself... Did you hear the echoey effect on my voice there? For some reason, uh, GarageBand defaults to that, and I don't care for it generally on a podcast, although I did make one for you like that that made it sound like I was on the PA system at a school. Uh, so you can do it if you want to, but I think it sounds a little goofy personally. So I had to do the show track info uh, little menu option so that you could see what's going on here. If you look, okay, we're on the female basic track. It's saying that this track is for vocals, and then it says it has the female basic effect on it, okay? So there are a bunch of different effects, and yes, you can have fun with this. There's a helium breath one, and there's a megaphone one, so you can really play. Uh, generally, when I'm doing instructional podcasts, I want no effects. That'll give me my normal voice. And then I'm going to re start recording some audio. Okay, do you see hear that? So that was just my normal voice on there. All right, now I can go through, make any other necessary changes uh, that I want. Maybe I want to take a little bit more time off of that music. It was a little long for me. So I'm going to position my playhead, edit, and split that. Click off of it and then click on and delete the part I don't want. I can drag down my narration piece so that it fits nicely. Play that back. And then I'm going to re start recording. All right. Then I will come down to the end here and position my playhead at the end of my audio. I'm going to go back in and uh, find some outro music. Generally, I'm going to use the same music I had before. Uh, so I'm going to go into Control, show my loop browser, do that uh, music view again. I did Cheerful before, and I'll just drag up that 44th Street short onto there. Keep coming, my friend. Drag down. There we go. All right, you can uh, edit that down as needed. And then what you'll do when you're all done, you've played it back, it sounds the way you like it, we're going to go up to Share. And then you have some options to send the song to iTunes and all kinds of stuff. Uh, I generally want to send my song to disk or export to disk. And then you've got the choice of an AAC encoder or an MP3 encoder. MP3 is the file type of choice. Hit Export. And then now you're saving, instead of the project file, you're saving it as an MP3. So that's actually going to compress it down to an audio file that you'll be able to upload and use.